Hello, this is a quick tutorial on how to add your own music tracks to the Steam version of Crazy Taxi. Uh, the reason I looked into doing this for myself is because I wanted to post videos of the game and several of the tracks of music in the game that, I mean, Sega replaced all the music tracks, even for the PS3 version and for this Steam version as well. You know, the original Offspring, uh, and who's the other band? Uh, I can't remember. Anyway, replaced all those original tracks with the uh, sort of sound-alike tracks for the Steam version and the PS3 version and so forth. Um, but some of those, it turns out, are getting copyright claims on YouTube. Two of them have so far... Um, uh, one called Radical Sabbatical and one called Your Mouth is a Guillotine, at least in the videos I've posted. Those are ones that have been flagged by YouTube with copyright claims on them, so that kind of blows. So I, I wanted to get some music that would not get flagged. Um, fortunately, you can... I mean, the music tracks for the game are, are just in a folder that the game installs and and you can remove them or uh I mean the easiest thing to do is just remove them if there's a problem one um problematic one so steam stuff is in program files x86 steam uh steam apps common and then there's some games you've installed crazy taxi uh sound data music adx underscore adx this is where it has its music tracks, their .adx files, which is a music format that apparently Sega has used for a while because when I was looking for tools to edit ADX files or convert ADX files, I found them among the uh, Sonic editing community. So uh, I guess they used ADX or some Sonic games, I don't know. Anyway, um, so if there was one that was a problem, you could just you could just delete it or move it. Like I, I had some problem ones and I just moved them into this folder. Um, which I made myself so the game didn't didn't pay any attention to it. And that seemed to work. Like, it didn't, like, not play music. It just seemed to pick a different track. But uh, if you did want to, you know, maintain as much music variety, I mean, there's, what, there's uh, 14 tracks in here. Um, as the game has, then you might just want to replace a track that you take out with something else. Or you just might not... You know, maybe you just don't dig these default tracks and you want to put your own in. So, um, so I, I, okay, so how was I going to do that? I don't make music myself. Well, there's a website, it turns out, I googled a bit. There's a website called freemusicarchive.org, and, uh, they've got a lot of free music there, public domain music. Um, I googled for... Or well, when I got to Free Music Archive, I searched their uh, punk music section, and I went through a whole bunch of the latest uh, uploads of punk music tracks, uh, and I found a couple that I liked. So I'm just going to show you how I converted one of those. It's called "We're All Going to Hell" by a band called Hearse Pileup. I think they may be British. I don't know. I haven't looked up much about them. They, I don't think they've done much since a couple of years ago, so I don't know if they're still around, but they made a cool track. So uh, this track is, uh, according to Free Music Archive, it is licensed under a Creative Commons license uh, by dash SA 4.0, um, so that basically means you can use it. It does say you should um, uh, give credit and, and, and name the type of license and stuff when you're using it, but you don't, I don't think you technically have to, but I am going to do that because I would like to do that, and it's a good track. It's also on YouTube. Uh, you can look it up on YouTube, and they've got a pretty fun video for it if you want to check that out. I'll have links to all this stuff below the video uh, on YouTube. So so I had this track. The um, On freemusicarchive.org, once you find a track, you can download it in MP3 format. So I downloaded MP3 of uh, Hearst Pile Up, We're All Going to Hell. And, uh, you know, you can play that in Winamp or whatever. Okay. So, you've got this MP3, now what do you do with that? Well, I want to get it into the game's ADX format. I, I, I googled for tools that could do that. And I found some. There's a tutorial that, that was written. This is in the Sonic editing community, I think, uh, on a site called Game Banana. 
there's a tutorial and they have a link to uh, ADX tools. There's a download link for both um, Windows and Linux. I got the Windows one and uh, one tool in there. In fact, there's a ton of stuff in here. Um, but I, it turned out I didn't need, I only needed one of those. There's a player which was handy, but what I really needed was one called adxencoder.exe. Just a simple utility. And you, uh, you just point it to the track you want to convert. These are the, the uh, oh, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I could do that, but, uh, well, so this only takes WAV files. <clears throat> okay, so I needed to take my downloaded, the, the MP3 I downloaded from Free Music Archive of this track, and I needed to convert it to WAV. So one audio tool that you may have heard of before is Audacity. It's free. It, uh, it's really good. Um, and that is a free download from audacityteam.org. So I installed that, which I always install it and then uninstall it. Just, it just comes in handy for just about any audio little tooling around you want to do. Uh, so I wonder if I can drag and drop. I bet Audacity supports that kind of thing. There we go. So there's where all going to hell, the MP3. And then you just uh, export, export as wave and you do that wherever and i just already did that here uh i don't want to overwrite that let's just do a little test folder i can't spell uh and i just basically i just accepted the defaults just you know okay whatever that's fine just did the defaults uh so that's done and we can go check that out i don't want to save this project uh crazy taxi test So there it is in WAV format. That's uh, uncompressed format. Uh, it's 34 megabytes now. Um, so now I need to take that wave and convert it to a uh, ADX that the game can use. And that's where ADX encoder comes in. We point it to that wave file. There it is. There it is there. And uh, it's already on ADX format. And you just click encode. Oh no, wait. I have to point it to a directory to, to spit it out in. I, it should, you know, if it was a smarter program, it would know just to put it in the folder uh, by default, but whatever. It's probably good that it doesn't. Let's see. Uh, that is where I want it. So, crazy taxi test. Okay. There we go. Ba ding. And uh, this, I am running Windows 11, by the way. I should have, I don't know if I said that clearly. Uh, so, there's my ADX file. Now, I I accidentally told it to play in, in Winamp. That's incorrect. Winamp can't play ADX files. There is a player in that tools pack that I downloaded that can play them. Uh, that is the ADX player. You don't need to check this, of course, but if you just want to know... Um, there's my ADX. Play. Oh, hello. Play. Look at that. And, uh, so yeah. So anyway, then I don't need this test version anymore. I've already got a version. Oh dear. Oh dear goodness. There you go. I've already got this version that I converted earlier. And then you just take it and uh, pop it into the the program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Crazy Taxi, Sound Data, Music, ADX folder where the tracks are. Um, you would, you know, control C, control V. Now it's not going to play this because it doesn't know about it. It only plays the file names that, that are the default file names. So what you would have to do is remove, you know, delete or rename the track you want to replace. Like, 
this was one of the ones that I had already replaced. I already done this replacement, and uh, and then rename it, rename. So get rid of that. So you could do, you could just uh, put an underscore in front of it, you know. Then you take the file name of it, and you rename your. Uh, I think I got this. Oh no, that is the one. Yeah, okay. And then you rename your the one you just made with that name. So right, okay. And I think I'll just delete this. Actually, you might want to back you know the default tracks up. Like I, I actually put mine in a full. I copied mine into a folder that I made called Music Cut, just to keep them. But uh, you could keep them in here renamed or whatever. Uh, so that should be there. Let me just make sure I got that all right. Where's my player? Player, play me a track that I just put somewhere. Uh, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, come on, crazy taxi. Sound data music. ADX, oh my gosh, those are big icons. Um, this should be it. Either yes. So it's in there, it's renamed. The game is going to think that's just a track it should play. Let's see if it works. I've turned the game's volume, music volume setting up a little bit to help us here. Now, the game just plays a random track when you start it up. And so there's like a dozen or so. So it may not play it the first time, of course. But uh, it should after a while if we don't get too unlucky. That ain't it. Whoa. I also have another replacement track in here. I actually forget exactly how that one starts at the moment, but uh, hello. I also found a way to, you can make this uh, announcer guy shut up if you get tired of his voice. So if you if you just hit the start button, or I'm using the keyboard, so I'm hitting, if I hit enter when he starts talking, and then hit it again, he it cuts off the, the playback of his voice. Is this the other one I... Come on. I swear it's in here. What the heck was that? There it is. Yeah, baby. Driving with the keyboard. You better watch out, folks. I'm driving with a keyboard. I don't know what the keys are on the keyboard. I'm just using arrow keys. Oh, gosh. Oh. This 
this track kind of rules. And the video is a lot of fun too. Check out the video. I've got. I'll have the link in the uh, description under the video on YouTube. Oh, I just screwed that up. Oh, where am I going? I thought I was picking. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm sorry. Sorry, folks. Uh, we might not get you to your destination in time. Oh, that was sweet, though. Did it! Perfect! Yeah, you hurt your foot! Oh, shoot. So, uh... I didn't, didn't expect to flunk out of that so far. Cut my song off! Anyway, that's what you do. It's just as well. We don't need to make this a long video. Uh, yeah, my, my amazing score there. Thank you. So that's it. Um, I, I, we, we just put in a, a new track in the crazy taxi. Uh, so yeah, you just need, you just need that lady X encoder. You need a program like audacity to convert, uh, uh, MP3 that you download from a free open source music site, like freemusicarchive.org to a uh, wave that the ADX encoder can then convert to ADX. And uh, you pop it into the game directory and rename it to one of the game track names, and you're good. Pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, I will have these links in the video description. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>